Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. I'm currently in Las Vegas right now, actually, working on my Las Vegas project. We're essentially making an album trying to encapsulate the different nightclubs, day clubs, and after hours clubs here in Vegas in musical form. So it's been a very music and video heavy uh, experience. That's kind of the interesting setup here. But it's time to jump into a great plugin. This is the Fretless Zither by Versilian Studios, and apparently, you know, I was looking on the website, this was meant to be like an April Fool's joke, but I guess they just were like, you know what, let's just keep it up. Uh, I think even on their site, they mentioned that, you know, I guess the video is also like just kind of this funny, goofy video. Yeah, 2018 April Fool's joke, but it's still more usable than the original version, so we'll just leave it up. So, this plugin, my rating, and this was interesting about this one, the GUI is kind of mad. I think they obviously just kind of joking like DLC. <laughs> um, reminds me of like EA Sports or something like that. Oh, keyboard coming soon is $8 for a DLC. Uh. But anyway, my rating on this one, weirdly enough, normally would be a set, uh, I'd say like a 3.75 out of 5. But because I feel like there's no other good Zither VSTs out there, especially a free fretless Zither VST, I think I'm going to bump that 3.75 up to 4. So I'm giving this one a 4 out of 5. Now this is my track, And Chill. I'm going to play you a little bit of it so you can hear it. I know, some shameless self-promotion. It's kind of like a chill track I made. Uh, trying to just... Actually, yeah, hence the name, And Chill. It's kind of like a chill, loungy style track. Right, so try to make this something very chill. Very relaxing, and the zither was actually perfect for that. So I'm going to show you. So I'll see it's a little bit in the back, and you can see with the notes, quick little like plucks. But I'm going to solo it now, as you can hear it. I'm going to do uh, one more part. So. So I really love the sound quality in this one. I'm gonna do this actually. Um, group this real quick. Turn this off and turn this on. So now going into the actual technicalities of the plugin. First off with the GUI, like I said, it's meant to be a joke. So yeah, that's about it. But also you have your attack. No other kind of like, you know, attack decay, sustain or release. You just have attack, volume and pan, reverb and the tape flutter. So I'm going to play it. I'll just show you different reverb. I will say, I do like the reverb algorithm and the reverb settings. Obviously, just one knob. But on Versilian Studios' plugins, and I've done tons of theirs, <laughs> so many of theirs, because honestly, when it comes to free plugins, they really are the best, in my opinion. Like, the best free plugin sets that they make. Um, usually, I don't like reverb knobs on most VSTs. I always suggest using your own reverb, like I use a stock in Ableton, but this one's not bad, you know? And then you have the, the tape flutter, which can create some really cool, trippy, almost like psychedelic effects, you know, like. All right, bring it back though. Right, good quality sound. Um, I was kind of like clicking around to see, is there anything else really on this? But as far as I can see, it just, you know, more of a April Fool's thing. Obviously all these you can change up, volume pan, reverb and also the tape letter like I was showing you before. But besides that, it's a pretty straightforward plugin. You know, it's super simple. There's not like a bunch of settings and complicated stuff. I'd say if anything, the most unique or complicated setting you can use is the tape flutter to kind of create that psychedelic effect. Uh, but besides that, you know, it's a great plugin. I normally would give it a, a lower rating, being honest, just because it's like, you know, the sound quality is great. Obviously, anything for sure in the studios makes is good. So I really do love the sound quality. I normally give it a little bit of a lower rating just because I feel like there's a lot of other plugins that I've given the four out of five rating to that had more features and the GUI was better and everything. 
But because if you're like finding a zither or a fretless zither VST, like I mentioned, is super rare and super difficult. And I don't think I've seen any other zither plugins out there, actually, to be honest, especially free ones. So I do think that I'm bumping it up, like I said in the beginning, to a four out of five because super unique to find a zither plugin. I really do love the sound quality. The tape flutter is actually a great way to almost add a whole new element on to this plugin. But obviously, it's for Studios, really great plugin to use, especially if you're going for a great zither sound.